Hello, my name is Chris Paltano. I'm the current president of Evansville Real Radio. Evansville Real Radio is an educational, uh, not-for-profit established in the state of Indiana. And the thing that we educate people about is the Christian foundation of our country. We also educate people upon the um, founding documents of our country, meaning that we look at how to interpret those, looking at specialty knowledge and things like that, but also looking at original source documents. And that is one of the key things to understand is that when we're looking at a textbook, we're getting somebody else's interpretation of history. And if we want to preserve our freedom and if we want to preserve our culture, we need to go into the original source documents to learn about those things. We're also Christian in perspective, meaning that we believe that Christianity placed an emphasis on the founding of our country and that it was founded as a Christian nation. For many of the states had specific Christian doctrines or specific Christian denominations specified within their foundational documents, their constitutions. And the federal constitution just did not want to have one of those to have priority over the others. We're also a community radio station. That means to build a sense of community. In order to be able to build a true sense of community, we need to be able to establish those Christian ethics, which of course means that we're established on love and the rule of law, equality of law for all people. Some people don't get better benefits than others, but that everybody's equal under the law. And that is ultimately uh, a combination of our Christian founding and what the founding fathers wanted us to do as we went forward. What we want to do is again look at how to interpret both the Bible so that we have an accurate understanding of what Christian ethics are, as well as understand our original foundational documents. In order to be able to do that, we need to get into the source documents, and we need to know the correct methods on how to do those things, using things like formal logic and uh, those original source documents, being able to parse out the differences in thought of each individual and some of the compromises that were made. For our Constitution is a compromise document, unlike the Scriptures, which is a fully inspired and inerrant document. But also, that needs to be interpreted using foundational principles. You can't just interpret it any old way. Uh, there are some people who find flying saucers in the Bible that is not there because they use incorrect interpretive methods, or they use an allegory and they can take it anywhere they want to because then they're making up what they want to do. So the other part of our mission is to promote a, uh, to promote a sense of local community. And to promote local community, we have to take those two previous things an understanding of Christian ethics and an understanding of freedom and law that our country was developed on and we need to apply those to community. If we don't get the first two right, if we don't understand Christian ethics and biblical ethics and the way that they play out in society and how to interpret the scriptures for ourselves and apply them well rather than relying on what somebody else has told us to do or same thing for the founding documents if we just take those from a textbook and take everybody's word for it that they mean one thing, we may ne never get to the true sense of the meaning. So what we want to do is we want to find out those principles that apply from Christian ethics and those principles that apply from our founding documents of freedom, and we want to apply those uh, to building a community in Evansville.